was a good episode, man. That was, that was, that was yeah, sure. We gotta do a second video of WandaVision. I know, it's weird. Uh, I mean, it's not like we have the camera already rolling the entire time. Do we? Oh, yeah, we do right there! <laughs> Whoa, it's like the power yeah. of... Welcome back, everyone, <laughs> to Keeping Up With The Nerds, Keeping Up With WandaVision, episode two. I'm Renee. And this is Brian. And welcome, everyone. Oh, man, that was a terrible bit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just move on with Let's this. Let's just move on. Episode yeah. two of WandaVision <laughs> came out the same day as WandaVision episode one. Do we ever get spoiled as nerds? The answer is yes, we, yes, do. we do. And it's all Disney doing it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> making no! Anyway, so, um, WandaVision episode two, go ahead, lead this off, Renee. So, I was kind of shocked too when I got on Disney Plus to see two episodes. I did not expect that at all. Did mm -hmm. you? Didn't we get this, like, didn't we get told that we were gonna get two episodes? I honestly don't remember if I did or not. I was, I already kind of, I don't know why. Did you know? Or did in you... the, like in the back of my head, it like, was basically being told like, Brian, we're getting two episodes. Like, were you not shocked to see two episodes? No, I wasn't. Oh, I, really? I mean, no, because I mean, I came out of work today and I was just like, oh man, I'm going to be really exhausted, but I got two episodes mm -hmm. to watch to record videos here. Yeah. So I got to watch them back to back. So I think in the back of my head, I consciously knew mm -hmm. somewhere deep in my consciousness, yeah. I knew the two episodes were out, uh, but I don't know where I heard that from, but we got blessed with two yeah, episodes. Two so episodes. thank so you. One thing I will, uh, little thing is, did you expect them to be longer or shorter? No, I wanted, I, I think that 30 minutes was probably the ideal mm -hmm. episode length. Uh, the the only reason probably why I thought that was Mando episodes were around the same length. Yeah. The only time they were ever really long was when it was a special event. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I, so I think, you know, moving forward when the story becomes more broader on what's happening, the episodes might become longer, I think. Yes. So At least in the last episode, maybe. We'll know. But let's talk about episode two. Yes. So. We got a little bit more in episode two from mm -hmm. than how we did in episode one. Um, we got a little bit more of, I guess, Wanda and Vision being more involved with the town and stuff like that. We get to see more characters as well too, not just what, there was like a total of five characters. Or you have the boss, the wife, mm -hmm. the neighbor, Wanda and Vision, mm -hmm. and then you get the uh, the, the, the co-worker yeah. of Vision in the first episode. Yeah. And then, oh, and the, yeah, that was it pretty that much. That was pretty much, it was a short list of people. Oh no, my bad, the guy that gets fired. He appears uh, in the second that's right, episode. he does appear yeah. in the second episode. Yeah. So it's cool to see that, you know, that it's a small world, mm -hmm. like a small town essentially that we're in. And obviously we get to see more uh, what Wanda's doing in this one. She's trying to get more involved with, I think it's the, what is it? It's like some sort of, uh, not community, like a, um, there's a word for it. There's a word for it. It's a town meeting. Town, not even like, a town meeting. It's like, like a bunch of the, all the women in the town, and you guys are saying it right now. I can't hear you. <laughs> Insert the word here. Insert the word. It's that. <laughs> and so Wanda tries to get more involved. Don't worry, we'll like fix that. it in post. We'll fix it in post. We'll fix it in post, guys. Don't meeting. worry. That's why we're. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so it's really cool to see you know Wanda trying to be more involved with the community and Envision and Wanda are actually getting ready to do a talent show mm -hmm. for the children, as they kept saying in the episode. That was a weird thing. Yeah, it's like here. for the children. Yeah, and I was like, okay, that I thought was that significant. I don't know. Maybe we'll find out later and stuff. Uh, but I did notice that there wasn't a kid at all. No, Maybe. there there were no kids. In there that, were no kids in not, this episode mm -hmm. at all. Not even episode one as well. So I don't know if that means that like it's going to progress more. Like we'll see it more. The town being more like a normal town. Because obviously it's, it's confirmed in this episode mm -hmm. that this is not what it is in here. Yeah. You know, we see Wanda find in the beginning, I think, like a helicopter in the bush or something like a toy that was colored yeah it was colored yeah and it had the sword signia on it as well too oh, i didn't even notice that didn't this know. is why i have to watch the episode <laughs> twice because it just it, i ah. guess i guess i don't know because i i pick up on things and i'm looking at it and i'm just like oh yeah you know so i had a little sword symbol on the helicopter on the toy colored helicopter so. oh god i got yeah i gotta rewatch this episode <laughs> luckily i mean i do because my fiance hasn't seen him. i'm out of watch yeah. him so i had to watch him today and pretty much when she watches them, i'm gonna be like all right we're gonna write this down here <laughs> this down here everything you know so and then so what'd you so how'd you overall feel for this episode in terms 
Uh, in, oh, sorry, I didn't even mean to interrupt you. No, so quick. In, ter- in terms of the whole, we got ten minutes, guys. That's what we're trying to. <laughs> <laughs> I'll finish the sentence. In terms of the whole episode, mm-hmm. what did you think? Well, uh, for me, the presentation was probably uh, like it's, like you said, it's more community based, more town based. Yeah. Stuff. So you did have that kind of sense of like. What was the show that you mentioned to me before we started recording? That like, it was, Leave It to Beaver. Leave It to Beaver, Yeah, it was exactly. like Leave It to Beaver. So you had more outside shots, mm. more community shots, you know, there wasn't just two or four people in a shot, now it was just like a whole group of people yeah. that were there and stuff like that. It was still very old timey, the setup and the production was yeah. still very much like that. Um, but the presentation for it didn't stop and the only times it did kind of pull itself away from that mm-hmm. were those moments where Wanda found things outside of that reality. Yeah. The helicopter. And even still, it was very uncomfortable. And I like the sound design for it because mm-hmm. it went from like very cheery, quiet, ple- or peaceful music even yeah. to very like, Ooh. That's the thing. I picked up on that too. Yeah. The sound was like, it didn't sound worldly sounds at all it mm-hmm. sounded v- something else it was it's it's i think i don't think there's much to catch on that yeah. besides that kind of like you know you're supposed to think this is an intense moment yeah and yes it is because why is everything black and white but that mm-hmm. one specific thing yeah a red helicopter mm-hmm. right uh the other part was when Dottie, i think her name was yes. cuts her hand and it's red it's red yes yeah and so she starts even questioning her own reality mm-hmm. um so that when those pull aways were probably some of the best parts of that episode yeah uh in terms of what we got from this i feel like we got a lot more mm-hmm. we still don't know why vision's here yeah. we don't know anything about vision we don't know why wanda and vision are here or mm-hmm. why these things are kind of breaking away from wanda at certain points yeah which is still very uncomfortable for me there, so there was thing that kind of confirmed for me if we're going to talk about the end of the episode is that basically spoilers guys if you guys haven't watched it then why are you watching this video um, (laughs) is that at the end of this episode we see wanda realizing or like a beekeeper comes out of the sewer or Mm -hmm. pothole or something i don't know uh i forgot because it's just like a quick moment and she sees it and again the guy the guy has a sword signia on the back of his outfit Mm -hmm. sees him and decides to say no and rewind everything to that moment before it happened again Mm -hmm. and it's confirmed i think to me that confirmed that vision doesn't is not either not real or it's not really him because Wanda is the m- one in control of everything. She's yeah. aware of what's, where she is now, and she doesn't look like she wants to get out of this world. So what this episode did really well, for me at least, was that it gave us sprinkles of detail every now and then of yeah. what to expect in future episodes. So again, we'll mention the helicopter, we'll mention the blood that's red. Yeah. Uh, we'll mention the neighbors <clears throat> who constantly say, or the townspeople that say, for the children, yeah. you know, all at once. Mm-hmm. Uh, these are not relevant details now, but yeah. we know that they're going to be relevant as the story keeps going. Uh, the other bits and pieces, maybe it means something, but when Vision goes into the neighborhood watch, yeah. and then is like, well, can you say something? And he's like, yeah, this dude's a communist. And everyone's just kind of like, and just start breaking yeah, into laughter. It got really awkward right there. It was kind of like, I can understand that was a <clears> joke <throat> to try to fit in with people, but could it also be alluding to maybe that person in particular being a member of Hydra? They did show that ad in the movie, in the in the show. Mm-hmm. It was the watch and you see the Hydra signia. So I do see where you mean by that. So there's a lot to pick into this. And I feel like maybe a second see-through, we would probably get more details of yeah. what to expect down the line. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it's it's kind of still very, like I think this cemented my prediction yeah. in the sense that this is all being played out in Wanda's mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, I will, you know, put the podcast or the issue that we talked about WandaVision with the trailers and stuff and what yeah. we predicted down in the description below. But in that particular issue, I pretty much mentioned or predicted that mm-hmm. this was all Wanda trying to cope with the fact that Vision's lost or Vision's dead essentially. And so now she's trying to create a different reality using what's comforting for her, which is maybe television programs where she sees very wholesome moments. I love Lucy, I love Lucy, leave it to Beaver. If we're moving into colored TV, maybe Mm -hmm. things like that 70s show, maybe we'll even get into 90s sitcom with friends or Seinfeld and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, maybe not full on comedy <clears throat> sitcoms, if maybe, I can't think of any on the spot, but very family oriented sitcoms. I think we're gonna get that uh, towards the end, like, mm -hmm. you know, how like certain family sitcoms now are kind of like shot like Modern Family, The Middle, yeah. Um, what is it, The Goldbergs and stuff. They're all shot in like color and like inside of an, of, like, of an actual house yeah. or something like that. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna move on to what because this is this is the last episode for this week. I, yeah. you know, coming this Friday. Yeah, we don't know what's coming out next week. So yeah, this is this is the prediction time. Prediction of what's going on with WandaVision. Renee, what do you think is going to happen? Because keep in mind, episode two ended with her being pregnant. Yes. And then everything going back in color and the camera angles finally changing. We do get the ending of, you know, the I Love Lucy ending with mm -hmm. the whole frames coming in yeah. and it's you know which i did notice again really quick is the intros in each of the episodes yeah they're very sitcom and stuff yeah it started out with like you know how they were singing mm -hmm. and like you know he's a robot and stuff like that and the other one was like very kind of like bewitched intro where yeah. it was all animated and stuff so i'm really interested to see how they're going to do episode three i think obviously we're going to go towards a 70s era kind of thing mm -hmm. um i feel that we're going to get the whole episode when she's pregnant and then it's going to end with her giving birth to the kids. Do you think she's going to give birth or do you think that this might be a loss of life? Mm, because that's a good actually, Yeah, that's actually pretty good. I think it, uh, my prediction personally, I think we're going to have she's going to give birth to a kid or twins or something. I feel like that might be that's going to happen at the end of this episode. But I feel that we're going to get a little bit more now. I think with each episode going on, we're going to get more and more of what's happening, what, what's going on. Um, I think I feel like it's, this is basically where it's going to progress more and more. Now, in terms of the voice that you hear at the end of the episode mm -hmm. where it says, Wanda, can you hear me? What's going on? So that, what is it? I believe, so I think, all right, my prediction, but mm -hmm. don't call me because I don't want to say it because I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. That was the FBI agent from Ant-Man and Wasp. That was the actor from, uh, was it? His name's Randall Park. You put a picture right there. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. I got it. Yeah, <laughs> no, I got it. Picture him. right here, right? Randall Park right there. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> um, he's, uh, he's from Ant-Man and Wasp. If you guys don't remember, he was the FBI agent looking over Scott Lang and stuff. That was his voice talking to Wanda, trying to communicate with her and stuff. That's so. interesting. I didn't want to pick that up. That's why That's why I got you. You're that's the one that tells me all that. Me yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think I'm going to jump into that, you know, prediction of maybe this it. could be a loss of life, that the pregnancy, because keep in mind, in episode one, she didn't know where, how to answer where she came from, yeah. if they're married, what was their wedding mm. song, all this other stuff. Maybe she doesn't know what giving birth is or what it is oh, to have a kid. Yeah. So this is played out in her mind. Mm -hmm. Is she going to replicate what she's seen on TV? Mm -hmm. Or is this going to be some sort of symbolism that she loses the child? Which would be, it's, it's, you know, it's a very sad thing to talk about, but could it be a representation of maybe her losing vision and her succumbing to that and being like, I already lost this. I don't want to lose you to vision mm -hmm. now that she has him in, his, in her life again. You know, mm -hmm. it could be that. Um, in terms of the beehive sword uh, agent that came out, there's not much to predict there because he just showed up and Wanda was just like, no, we're gonna take yeah. this back. And then everything goes back in time mm -hmm. uh, to a moment that was better for her. Yeah. Uh, but I do like your prediction. I'm gonna jump on that train mm -hmm. where every episode is gonna be a new reference to some sort of TV show that mm -hmm. came out in that era. Yeah. Because I think I Love Lucy came out and then Bewitched. Yes. Yes, yeah, Bewitched right? or... Oh no! I mean, maybe it wasn't Bewitched. Or... It was. It was very much like that because yeah. it was a very animated. Well, I, I think I said it was like Leave It to Beaver. Leave It to Beaver. Yeah, Even shows like yeah. um. But I think this one came out later down the line. Mm -hmm. Um, the nanny. Oh yeah, that came out later. That came but, out later, but that still was animated, think, so yeah. it could be referencing things like that. So mm -hmm. it may, we're into color TV now. So yeah. We don't know what's to expect from the episode, mm -hmm. uh, but like I said, it, I think it, we're going to stick with very family oriented sitcoms and stuff. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, here's hoping, you know, we get this sort of stuff in episode three. Yeah. Renee, wrap this video up for me. We got 12 <laughs> minutes on here, 14 minutes. All right. We got a lot to edit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys, thank you guys for watching. I'm Renee. This is Brian. And just remember, you guys can click subscribe down below just to get more videos like this and hit the notification button so you get notified when these videos come out. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.